All right, boys, just here to talk about what documents are required to do a customs clearance. A customs clearance is when we import a car into the country. It's the pub paperwork that you need to get it through customs and into our showroom here. So to do a customs clearance, we need the following. You need an invoice. So this is to show that we bought the car, how much we bought it for, and that sort of stuff. Second thing you need is the BL. BO is the shipping records. It shows that a, a document where an item is shipped, it's given a bill, a bill of lading. So a shipping company provides you that. You need that. Third thing you need is a copy of your driver's license. Fourth thing you need is all the cars that are imported now after 1st of Jan uh, 2012. You need a degas certificate. So what we actually do is, before we ship the car, we actually get it degassed, so we get the air conditioning removed, so all the gas out of the AC is removed, and then we've actually got a template that the guy over there, or the company over there has to fill out for us. It's called a degas certificate, you have to provide that. And then you also have to provide a degas invoice, because a lot of people are just making up these certificates, mm -hmm. so you need to provide the invoice with it as well. Um, and the last thing you need to provide as well, the sixth thing, is the VIA, which is called the Vehicle Import Approval. So the import approval is what we issue out, so you also need to give that. So all this information is given to our customs broker. So we give this to our customs broker. Customs brokers are like, um, as the name suggests, they act as the middleman between us and customs. So we give them all the information, they process all that and enter it into the customs database, then customs processes it, clears it. So once customs clears it, we then have to pay all our taxes, all the money, GST, taxes, duty, luxury car tax, all that gets paid to customs, and then they'll release the car. Once the car is released, uh, we'll have to get the car aqueous cleaned. So it gets cleared from customs, then it's allowed onto Australian waters. So it's like going through at the airport, you gotta go through customs first, and then you go through quarantine. It's the same thing with the cars. You get cleared from customs, then you gotta go to quarantine. Quarantine always cleans the car, they want to make sure there's no dirt and soil and all that sort of stuff on there. So we we'll always have to pay Aquis, uh, they're called, for a steam clean. It's usually about $400. So every car gets like a, a steam clean. It's just a gurney around the wheel arches and a vacuum. So once that's done as well, then it's custom cleared and it's quarantine cleared. Then we can import it or then we can collect it. Sure.